Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the pitch of a propeller and the diameter of a propeller. Um, so you can know exactly what propeller to get for your plane. So, here's a couple of factors to keep in mind. Um, I'll start with my 3400 kV motor. For example, my 3400 kV motor with 11.1 .1 volt battery spins at 37,740 rotations per minute. So, when you guys see that a prop has a 6.5 inch pitch, not the diameter, take this ruler for example, this would have a 12 inch diameter, a zero pitch, but if down the center where this is slanted one way and this is slanted the other, like so, that's your pitch. Now, why is that rated in inches, for example, I found a 5.25 prop by 6.5 inches, alright? Now what does that mean? Think of it like a screw, alright? If you have a screw, and you screw it in one rotation, how far does it go? A 6.5 inch pitch means it goes in 6.5 inches for every rotation of the propeller, or the screw in that case. So, when you're screwing that in, or propellers turning, assuming there is no resistance at all, no weight, nothing, it will go 6.5 inches for every rotation of the propeller. So here's how you can figure that out. To find your rotations per minute, minute you take the kilovolts of your battery times the voltage, or the kilovolts of your uh, engine times the voltage of your battery. For my case, 3400 times 11.1 .1 volts is 37,400 times 6.5 inches per rotation because every rotation of the propeller is 6.5 inches forward assuming no resistance and that's what I will base this off of and that's what you will this does not mean you will get those speeds because you have the weight of the plane air resistance and friction gravity other factors also play so 37,740 times 6.5 is 245,310 inches per minute. Divide that by 12 and you get 20,442.5 feet per minute. Alright, so once you get that to feet, there's 5,280 feet per mile. So you, your feet per minute divided by feet in a mile, 5,280 and you get 232 miles an hour in my case. So that means that every minute that propeller that is moving at 37,740 RPMs is pushing air behind it going 240 miles an hour. So in a perfect world where there is no air resistance, no gravity, nothing like that, that propeller will push a plane that weighs absolutely nothing, not even considering the weight of the propeller or the plane, or the engine, will go 232 miles an hour. Now, how you get your actual speed, I don't know that formula. I'm just going based on what pitch means. So, for my plane that I've been showing you guys how to build, will go 232 miles an hour in a perfect world, as I just said. Think of it this way. The bigger... The diameter, which is 5.25, which means on a ruler, right there is your length of the propeller. And your pitch, we already know, 232. But you think, well, why not just get a 4x6.5 if there's such thing? Well, the propellers, the plane will not go that fast because diameter considers thrust. Alright? So. Not sure if you can see this by this drawing here. What that shows is no matter how big the propeller is with a 6.5 inch, uh, inch pitch, it's going to push out air going 232 miles an hour with a 3400 kV motor and 11.1 .1 volt battery. But here's where the important factor comes in. We have to keep in mind is your motor spinning at 4 RPMs, you must have a propeller diameter length 
that is not going to overheat your motor. In my case, a 5.25 inch diameter is not going to overheat my motor at full RPMs, which means it's going full RPMs and I'm getting that 232 mile an hour wind up from being pushed off it. But think of it this way. If you have a one inch propeller with 6.5 inch pitch pushing 232 mile an hour wind, it is not going to go that speed because you only have a half inch on either side pushing air behind it, which is not enough to push it. But if you have a six inch prop, still 6.5 inch pitch, you're going to have three inches on either side of the propeller from the center. You will have three inches here and three inches there pushing air behind it. So you think, what, what's going to push something harder? A little tiny dot of air going 232 miles an hour pushing this little box or a big fan two feet wide, what's going to push it? It's like pushing you. In a hurricane, There's your whole body is being hit by wind and you get pushed. But if just your finger is getting pushed by wind, just that much, you're not going to move. Your finger will move back a little, but it's not enough to move your entire force of the body. So you guys have to get, you have to tool around, test what you really need. But diameter of the propeller controls how much area pushes, how much area pushes the wind from your pitch behind it. So, in my case, the most my motor can handle without overheating is a 6 inch prop. If I can get a 6.5 inch pitch, then I'm going to have 6 inches, a 6 inch block pushing my 232 mile an hour wind behind it. Does that mean my plane will go, go that fast? No, it doesn't. If I had a 3 foot propeller, yes, but my motor can't handle that without frying itself. So, I may get maybe 110 miles an hour consi considering air resistance, gravity, and every other factor. So, you can do that with any size motor. I'll just do a quick overview of an 1820 kV motor with an 11.1 batter volt battery with an 8x11 propeller. In the end, that will push 210 mile an hour wind, but that's 8 inches. So, in my case, that may even go faster than a 5.25 by 6.5 prop because you have 8 inches of area versus 5 inches of area of diameter pushing your plane or pulling whatever you guys if you have a tractor mounted or if you have a pusher prop regardless it will go that it may go faster because you have more area pushing your plane so if you, the plane I have put a bigger set of wheels on it you may be able to depending on what size KV motor you get you may have to upsize that prop with a higher pitch keep that in mind you also have more thrust but you still have to have that pitch pushing the air faster. If it's within 20 miles an hour, if you think, hey, well, I have a 6.5 inch pitch pushing 32 or 37,000 miles an hour, or 37 rotations per minute, then that will push your plane a little bit easier. So like, from the point of view of this here, Sorry, I'm getting a little bit confused here. Um, so it's your 1820 kV. Alright, that's my other option. I can get 210 miles an hour with an 8x11 prop that it can spin without overheating. But it's 8 inches of area, 4 on either side, versus 5.25 by 6.5, uh, where you only have 2.625 on either side of thrust. So, if I can find a set of wheels that can handle 4 inches on the top and 4 inches on the bottom without cutting it, and it will still fly with my amperage and everything, then I will go with the 1820 kV motor because you have more thrust of that 200, or 210 miles an hour. So, you guys can do your own math. Basically... What you're going to do is you're just going to find your rotation. And 
you turn that into feet, but you've turned that to feet divided by 5,280 to get your miles per minute. You multiply that by 60 to get your miles an hour. Alright? And that is what pitch is and how to figure out how fast a plane will travel in a perfect world with the pitch you have.